Hi guys and uh, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're going to talk about the airwolf. Hey, what are you doing here? Hey, and um, the hey, stop it. And the gear drive conversion that I've done. Uh, just talk about why I did it, uh, what the procedure is, what you need, and uh, yeah. So let's get cracking. So when I bought this um, airwolf was very nice it obviously it comes with the 5000 uh, milliamp battery and I weighed it and it weighed 1850 grams uh, well compared to the bell which weighs just shy on 1100 grams I thought geez that's um, that's a huge huge difference on such a small weight anyway flew it and uh, couldn't get more than 13 minutes out of this so I thought yeah no, I mean I get 20 minutes on the bell and that flies on a 3000 so I thought okay so I stripped it all down made it a tail and boom heli and uh, then I could get 15 minutes on this which I s still didn't really like because I set my timer on my radio to 8 minutes so that I can get two flights out of here and a flight out of a 2200. This in the bell lasts 12 minutes. I only fly for eight, so there's still quite a bit left, but then uh, I never over discharge the battery and they will kind of last longer. And also I can only concentrate for about eight minutes. So I couldn't get my two eight minutes out of here. Uh, even in the stripped down tail and boom version w, uh, fw450 so i kind of shelved that project i try to fit the bell electronics into here with modified plates to get everything the same height but i don't know what the issue is but just before takeoff i get a the whole body shakes and um so i thought no okay that's not going to happen so uh, after a while i thought you know the new version the fw450 version 3 comes in a gear drive so i thought i wonder if i could convert the belt drive to a gear drive so i ordered the parts i'll put them on the screen and i converted it to a gear drive and lo and behold 20 to 25 percent extra more efficiency so everything stayed cooler I got almost 20 minutes uh, on this battery in the FW450 tail and boom configuration, which I was happy with because I was I could now get my two times eight minute flights here. Uh, wouldn't get the same with this battery because obviously this motor isn't quite efficient as efficient as the Bell motor, which has got a quite a much bigger motor, but still more efficient than the Bell drive. So if I, then I could use these batteries again and get my two times eight minutes, happy days. Or I can fly this, I get 10 minutes out of here. Uh, no, I think I used to get six minutes out of here, out of this 2200, uh, roughly. But now I can get eight minutes out of here. But that's pushing the battery down to 3.6 volts under load, which is still not extreme. You can go to 3.3, so it would still work. But uh, what I've decided to do is uh, I now fly the 3000s, I've got two of these, in the Airwolf. And that does two things. Uh, it reduces the weight down to uh, 1400 grams. Um, because I've done some other things to lighten the load. So anyway, so there's a few things going on here. Um, besides fitting the gear drive, I also took out the boom, the boom holder, the GPS holder, and I've got little 3D printed plates that fit in exactly the same holes to accommodate those. But I also have a uh, egg, 3D printed egg tail on here. So that does add a little bit of weight compared to the standard fin that you get with this. Uh, and it finishes it off nicely. So all in all, uh, with the original battery, it now weighs 1,600 grams. 
So I will definitely get two times eight minutes out of here. Uh, with the 3000, it weighs 1400 grams. And with a 2000, it now weighs 1300 grams. Uh, on the Facebook groups, they did ask, can you do a tutorial on how you did it? So for you and uh, for you that are still watching, I'm gonna strip it down, I'm gonna spare you that uh, drama. And I'll just come back with just the module in hand, a close up, and I'll explain to you what was done. So until then, I'll see you now. Um, as you can see, we have the, the gear on. Um, I have removed the, the whole battery holder mechanism here. I just have a little 3D printed plate, which I will link in the des description below. I also have a 3D printed uh, Jeep, uh, H1 holder. So it's just a little plate with two screws. I'll link that in the description below as well. And the only thing of real importance to notice is obviously that the motor had to move closer to the shaft. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give measurements there, but these, these two marks are the original holes. And just by looking at this, you can see where they landed up. And what you're looking for is if you hold the motor on top and on the tooth, on the pinion, you want a small little um, little space between the gear and the pinion. And just rotate it a few times because at some point there'll be the, the tightest spot. And that's where you want to adjust it. You don't want to adjust it on the loosest spot. You want to find the tightest spot Initially, you might have it pretty tight, and at some point it might be a little bit loose on some part of the gear. So you find it where it's, where it's the absolute tightest, where you have no movement, and that's when you adjust this at that point. And then just spin it around, and make sure you have this tiny little tick. The only other thing is, uh, of course, a 3D printed anti-rotation bracket here which goes around the motor but there is enough space and also under maximum um, maximum negative uh, the servers physically can't even go anymore there's still space here so there's no chance of rubbing against the motor um, that is basically it. You can see I've got a little USB cable here tied to the side. So once it's in the frame, I can get to it. This is kind of normal, but they give you the super long one. You can just find a short one somewhere at a local store. Um, everything is nicely cable tied away. There's no fouling anywhere, no touching anywhere. So if you do do this, even if you don't remove the boom holder or the, the battery holder and you only do this you will still save maybe a hundred grams uh, over the original but i've flown this now extensively uh, and definitely found that it made quite an improvement on the heat of the speed controller and in particular the motor uh, i could barely touch it after a 10 minute flight but now i can touch it for at least 30 seconds at which point it does get a bit hot so there's def I haven't measured I don't have a uh, temperature sensor um, and uh, it just slides back into the frame as usual um, because I mean if you if you're gonna put the uh, the egg tail on like this for instance um, then you don't need the boom inside but you don't particularly have to remove the boom holder and clip. You could just leave that in. That, uh, that's completely up to you. But I just removed it because I didn't see the need for it. Um, I'll link the file for this. Unfortunately, this is not a freebie because uh, this took quite a bit of designing. It just slides in. 
and mounts with one screw at the bottom over there. Um, but that's, that's uh, I'm not trying to sell you this, I'm just trying to sell you the idea of um, making your belt drive system a bit more efficient. Sound wise, well, we'll, you'll hear in the clip, I do have a before and after, so I'll find the before clip and I'll play it right after this, uh, so you can hear if there is even a sound difference. But I like the way it sounds, I like the way it flies, it's uh, because it's also lighter in, in uh, whether you do it with the original battery in. Um, if you leave everything as is, with the boom and everything, then you're not going to get any weight saving, obviously. Uh, if you do the egg, the egg um, tail conversion and remove the stuff you don't need, you'll save 200 grams. And even with this battery, it's a little bit more agile. With this 2200, it's very agile. So just the weight alone makes a huge difference. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let's cut to the video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Six minutes and 50 seconds. Oh, okay. So almost seven minutes. Oh. The line blades are a little bit flatter in the profile. So I don't know what that does to the performance. Very nice uh, machine by the way, so don't forget this is the gear drive conversion, it sounds pretty much the same as it did before, can't really hear any difference. <laughs> 